Hello there Pokemon fans, welcome to another Playscape Games video and today I'm very excited to be unboxing three of these brand new Tapu Bulu GX tins that have just been released by Pokemon. They have uh, the brand new Tapu Bulu GX card inside which are very sought after by um, competitive players at the moment and they are absolutely they are absolutely strong Pokemon and they're only available in these tins so I am hyped and excited and hoping that as well as um, getting some awesome pulls from the tins um, that I'll be able to make a cool deck with these. Uh, whilst I'm going through them I can uh, sort of give you some ideas about some decks I've been looking at um, and some that have already done quite well in tournaments with Tapu Bulu. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Put these other two, other two to the side and uh, yeah. So let's open up this Tapu Bulu GX tin. So as you can see, there's also a Tapu Coco, but the uh, Tapu Coco uh, tin um, just has a promo version of the Tapu Coco from uh, the recent Guardians Rising set. So this one is a brand new, um, brand new card that's only printed in this tin. So let's open it up. So here is our Tapu Coco, yeah, Tapu Bulu promo in all of its glory. You can see. Uh, it's got 180, uh, it's got a um, nice simple attack, 30 damage, horn attack, um, second attack is pretty awesome, um, two grass and a colorless, 120, and you may discard all energy from this Pokemon, if you do, this attack does 60 more damage, which is pretty impressive, with a choice band, you can be hitting 210 damage just with free energy, so that's pretty strong, and then the Tapu Wilderness GX 150, and you can heal all damage from Tapu Bolu, so, um, it's pretty. It's a pretty useful Pokemon. It's a basics. Um, don't need to evolve it. Uh, the Retreat Cross is pretty. It's a bit bad, but uh, we can ignore that because it's got no weakness, which uh, is pretty awesome. Because Grass Pokemon's um, main issue nowadays is usually um, Volcanion. So without having any weakness, uh, we can just steamroll things, which is absolutely awesome. And it also comes with a code card. Uh, we need to redeem those online for our. Uh, for our um, Tapu Bulus uh, so we can get some more practice in and it comes with four booster packs so as you can see here we've got ourselves a Steam Siege and Evolutions and two brand new Guardians Rising booster packs which is absolutely awesome so we're just going to open up all of these tins uh, at the same time just so we can get them go through the pack opening together oh yeah trying to get these promos out sometimes without damaging them too much can be a bit of a pain so we'll let Bulu number two join his uh, Join his brother over there. And eight, once again, two Guardians Rising and Evolutions and a Steam Siege pack. All the tin rubbish to the side. And just also love the design of this tin. Uh, Tapu Bulu just looks awesome. Yep, got him out nicely. Put him over there at the bench for the other ones. The reason I bought uh, three Tapu Bulus is that the for three Tapu Bulu tins instead of four. Um, most of the lists that I've been seeing have um, only been using uh, three Tapu Bulus as opposed to other decks, which um, sometimes use four of a four of a Pokemon, which is the maximum amount you can use in the deck. So I thought, uh, as a good starting point, uh, three Tapu Bulus would be would be a good uh, good good uh, place to start. So we can open them just like we would if we were open one tin at a time. So so that way we can see which. Uh, See how, how many sort of GXs we are sort of average and GXs and EXs we average per tin. So yeah, let's see what we get. First we'll go through the Steam Siege pack, a bit of nostalgia. Oh Steam Siege, wow. I don't remember you ever being this hard to open. It's been a while since I opened Steam Siege. Yeah guys, have a code. There's no way get anything epic from it. Clauncher, Chimchar, Bergmite, Clauncher. C dot, Yanma, Klefki, Guard of our Spirit Link, Duat. Ah, oh, sweet. We got the Oblivion Wing Uvelta. They're always, uh, they're always a good card. They're used a lot in the old uh, Turbo Darkrai decks, which, um, which, uh, it's uh, good because you can accelerate. Use the, um, the Oblivion Wing attack to accelerate energy and do lots of damage with your, with your other guys. Uh, so, have an Evolutions code card. Let us know in the comments below if you put anything good from these booster packs. Ghastly, Charman, I love these retros. Rattata, Caterpie, Magnemite, Kakuna, Full Heal, Machoke, Dojo, and Beedrill. Nothing good from those. Try and do a bit of stack maintenance here. 
So, finally we're getting into the good stuff, the Guardians Rising Booster Packs. Yeah, I messed up the pack trade. Praxis makes perfect, in the light. Gliger, Litwick, Clefairy, Tentacle, and... Oh, no, we've definitely messed up the pack trade. There you go. I'm putting the chandelier. Oh, nice. Got another holly rare at the back. So do we do. Ah, I suppose we got a field blur as well. Awesome trainer card. She's up to two uh, tall or stadium cards in play in this garden. Before this came out, we didn't have a good um, sort of tool removal uh, card. So it's awesome now that we have uh, field blur. Hopefully, we'll get so, so far from this box. We've not had a single from this from this tin. We've not had a single GX or EX, and it looks like this is going to be a dud tin. So. It's good that we got our awesome Tappy Booley promo. Travish, Machop, Rockruff, Beldum, Wellmore, Oracorio, Energy Recycler, Mallow, Stellar Sizzle, and Tentacle and Light Energy. So, kind of been not doing too well with the pack tricks there. So, here's the next tin. Let's see if we get anything bit better from this one. Oh, these Steam Siege packs. Wow. Well, I swear they've used a different material or a different packaging or something. Have a Steam Siege code, guys. I don't know if you put anything good. Uh, I believe it's two from the back. Let's try that. Clink, Ponyta, Pornyard, Oshawott, Rufflet, Reverse Klefki, Zuelius, Nidorino. Oh! The Full Art Steelix EX. Beautiful Full Art card there. And it's hiding a Monferno behind it. So at least we got a nice full art hit from our from our second Tapu Rulu uh, box and we've still got three packs still to go so keep this going I would uh, usually sleeve up GX's and EX's but I don't um, don't have any uh, sleeves handy at the moment so hopefully we don't pull anything too uh, too crazy Dojo, Pikachu, Staryu, Onyx, Weedle, Pogodex, Kakuna, Reverse Holo, Polyrath and a Raticate so it looks like we are doing it slightly wrong. Ah, another green code card. Come on, Guardians Rising, what are you doing to me? I think it's three and three. Let's try that. Kavana, Kylo, Magneto, Deli Bird, Travis, Komala, Multi Switch, Watchhog, Reverse Chandelier, and a Vanillax. Oh no, dear. Right. Guardians Rising goes over here. Come on, PET, give us some luck. Come on. Arceus, bless these, bless this, um, no. <laughs> bless these packs, in fact, there's no point even going going crazy. Although, we do have an awesome reverse field blur, which is cool, which is actually going onto the wall, because I like reverse trainer cards. And we've got a Suda Woody. Suda Woody is awesome, you've not seen it before. Um, it means you, your opponent can't have more than four Pokemon on your bench. So effectively, it's a um, good way to stop in decks like Mega Rayquaza and Ride Shoot and Lycan Rock, which require uh, four benches. So, right. So those are our pulls from the first two tins. So let's see if this last uh, Tapu Bulu tin is any good. So yeah, whilst we're going through these packs, I'll just uh, tell you a bit more about Tapu Bulu itself. Um, have a code. Uh, Tapu Bulu is absolutely awesome um, because. As well as it not having any weakness, um, it just has three solid attacks that you will use at some point um, when you play it. So um, there are currently two good decks that go well with Tapu Bulu, and um, one of them is um, what's it called? Vika Volt, Vika Volt deck, which um, has a which is a stage stage two Vika Volt um, from Guardians uh, from, Sun, from the Sun and Moon base set. Ah, Pikachu, so I'm going to get some luck in this little last evolution pack. Um, the Vicar Vault allows you to um, search your search your deck for um, for a grass and a lightning energy and attach it to any of your Pokemon in any way you please. Which means that a manual attachment and a Vicar Vault, you have yourself a... Oh, back to back chances. Chancy, chancy. Um, you have yourself um, a way of... Uh, of um, sort of getting your Tapu Bulu up to do its um, third, either its second or its third attack in one turn. So even when you discard all your energy with the Tapu Bulu's native judgment attack, 
you can then uh, get it back really quickly with the Vicar Vault, um, which is really cool. Um, and I haven't seen much of the other deck, but it's also paired well with um, Lorantis. So Lorantis um, allows you to um, use the first attack on Lorantis, which gives you more energy, so you can start attaching that to your to your um, ah, choice band. Sweet. Um, you can start t attaching it to your um, Pokemon like really quickly, and then it just kind of just goes crazy from there. So um, I really like um, that. I'm going to be trying probably I'm be playing a bit more of the uh, Vicavolt list, um, which I will put a link to a to a Vicavolt list that did quite well um, in re recent tournaments. Um, I think I put a link to the uh, to one of the recent list in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give that a go with Tapu Vulu. So. Petlil, Gaisal, Machoke, Solgaleo, Solgaleo's are rare. So we need to, um, one thing we've learned from these packs today is that we need to perfect our pack tricks. And another thing that we need to learn is that apart from when there's exclusive tin promos, um, yeah, I, I don't often buy tins, but at least we got um, a couple of cool things here, guys. Let's see what we got. Um, so choice band's always awesome. Um, it's not a reverse holo choice band, but it's still cool. Doing 30 more damage, um, especially with something like a Tapu Volu, attached the uh, choice band to the to the Tapu Bulu, and um, you can be doing 210 damage of free energy. It's pretty strong, especially in combination with the energy acceleration that the Vicar Vault offers. We've got Holo Chansey, awesome. Chansey. Reverse Holo Field Blower, the Full Art Steelix EX, Chandelure, your Beltel, and the Hydrogen from Steam Siege. But of course, this tin was all about these beautiful things. So where will these Tapu Bulus go? Which tournaments will I play them in? Who knows? But it's nice to have them at last. So yeah, I'd like to thank um, Dan Settle from uh, Chase Games for um, supplying these Tapu Bulu tins. He's also got the latest uh, collection boxes, the new Battle Arena decks, and uh, Seal Booster boxes. So I've put a link in the description below uh, in the UK. Highly recommend uh, Chase Games, Dan Settle. Um, he can uh, get you these uh, get you these Seal products and these goodies. Uh, pretty quick so yeah thank you very much for watching uh this edition of playscape games if you enjoyed this unboxing uh let me know uh in the comments below what would you like to see unboxed next on the channel or um yeah if you pulled anything awesome from those uh, code cards i gave away earlier thank you very much remember to subscribe and i will see you soon go to catch them all Thank you everyone who's been subscribing and watching playscape games over the past couple of months and congratulations to Ben Giles, who has won our 100 subscribers giveaway. I've sent you a message, Ben, and you can look forward to these wonderful GXs coming their way to you very soon. Remember, everyone, keep subscribing and liking Playscape Games.